Hey YouTube, Anna here. So I am here filming my 18 week update a day early. Tomorrow I will be 18 weeks and I made some notes for this week. This week has been like a high symptom week, which when I read you my symptoms, you're gonna be like, that was the same as last week. <laughs> but I just felt the effects a lot more this week. So let me get my notes up. So I have been very lucky in not having much nausea, like upset stomach, kind of queasy, nothing like I'm gagging or anything until this week. <laughs> and this week it was like every time I was done eating, like 20 minutes later, I would be like salivating, but not like I'm hungry salivating, like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna barf. <laughs> and it was like that from morning until night. So that was pretty terrible. Um, that was my worst case of nausea. So there was that. My sleep has just been insane. I'm either like up for hours at a time at night. I wake up at like 3 a.m. and I can't sleep until 5.30. And then luckily, I mean, my husband takes care of Cece in the mornings almost always. So he wakes up with her when she wakes up around 6.37, um, feeds her breakfast, and then I usually am awake by seven. So it's really nice. <laughs> it's so nice that he works from home and like, we don't have to deal with anything like, oh, he has to rush to get out the door. Um, so yeah, by the time I wake up, she's usually fed and sometimes dressed, which is really nice. <laughs> and then I just have to, you know, like do her hair, brush her teeth, and then we can go about our day, which is just such a big help. Um, acne. My acne has exploded insanely. <laughs> I'm wearing a decent amount of makeup so you can't really tell, um, but I have acne just all over my chin, all over my mouth, um, by my nose, on my forehead, on both sides. Oh, so lovely. When I was young, my dad would tease me whenever I'd get pimples on my forehead, like on either side. He'd be like, I see your horns are growing in. <laughs> so now when I see them, I'm like, my horns are growing in. <laughs> um, he was teasing, like all in good fun. Don't be worried. <laughs> my dad's just funny. Um, so I went to go see a house this past week. Still no word on the houses, like, yeah, nothing. So no news there. We went to go see a house and the owner of the house was showing us around and I was holding Cecilia and he poked my belly and he said, when's this one due? Or when's this one coming? Or something like that. And I was like, um, September. <laughs> but that's the first time that I ever felt like I wanted to punch someone <laughs> for touching me uh, while I'm pregnant. Like I've never had somebody approach me and touch my belly that I didn't know. Like my friends that I see in the grocery store, they're like, belly, and I'm like, yay, that's fine. Um, but random person, like totally caught off guard. And like, I'm a big girl, so I know that my belly isn't like big just because I have a baby in there. It's big because I'm fat. <laughs> So I was like, I could have just been fat and you just poked my belly like, oh my gosh, what are you thinking? <laughs> anyway, it was crazy. Um, have you guys ever had that happen to you? Like, I know that a lot of people complain about like random people touching their belly, but I just have never experienced that before. So comment down below if you have, because I want to hear from you. What did you do? How did you react? I always thought like in the moment I would grab their belly too, but I didn't. I was just like, uh. <laughs> like I didn't I didn't know how to function. Um yes. So I was talking to a friend earlier and I was like, where is my pregnancy glow? <laughs> like I got all intense. I'm like, with Cecilia, I had like six weeks of like a little bit of acne right there in the beginning and then my skin cleared up and I was like beaming. Oh. 
where is that? Like, that is not happening to me this time around. And I mean, that's fine. Every pregnancy is different, but like, I don't know. I feel worse. And in the second trimester too, like that's crazy. So I was like, where's my glow? Somebody owes me glow. <laughs> um, Cause all the glow I do have right now is just highlighter from makeup. That's not, it's not pregnancy glow. I can guarantee you. My skin is like dry, patchy, pale. Like I am not, <laughs> not looking so good <laughs> when I don't have, you know, a pound of makeup on. So there's that. Um, if you guys are done with the pregnancy stuff, that's fine. I have a little bit of information to share with you about Cecilia's two year update. So I didn't want to film in a whole nother video. Just figured I'd tack it on here. We just got back from Cece's two year appointment. I thought she needed shots, but she didn't. She doesn't need shots until she's five now. Like, that's crazy. She's going to forget like how that feels. Well, she'll probably get her flu shot. Never mind. I'm just rambling now. <laughs> so she was so calm. The nurse came, brought her back and did like a tiny little blood pressure cuff on her. Like, oh, it was like this big, um, like unwrapped. It was that big. And then they wrapped it around her tiny little arm and she just laid on me and was totally chill and calm. She relaxed her hand. They had the pulse oximeter thing on the other hand. She just let it go. She wasn't pulling it or playing with it or anything. Like she was the chillest baby ever. I sat her down to take her weight. She is 26 pounds. Um, and she like sometimes fluctuates. And I don't know it just because like our scale isn't like that sensitive, but sometimes it says like 26 and a half and sometimes it says 28. Um, but she's around 26 pounds. And then this like high tech scale said 26 pounds even. So I trust it. She, she kind of started to like want to cry when I had her stand up straight and I, we put the like head measure, <laughs> the length the how tall she is measurement because she had to like stand up against the edge of it she kind of wasn't having it she was like uh, uh. <laughs> um but she is 33 inches tall so she's very short very petite um so her weight was totally average 50th percentile her height was 25th percentile which my doctor is not worried about that he she just said i bet she's gonna have like a big growth spurt right around now. <laughs> um, and usually by age two, what they do is they double it and then take two inches off for her adult height. And so that puts her right around 5'4 when she is an adult and I'm 5'4. So I'm like, okay, she might be a little bit taller than that, who knows? Or a little shorter, who knows? <laughs> um, but it was just fun to like hear that. Also her head circumference was 49 centimeters and that was in the 90th percentile. Um, she's always had a big head, always like 90th. Like I think the lowest it ever got was like 80th percentile, maybe 75, I'm not really sure. Um, but no, she's like, <laughs> she's big head, always has. And that's like one of my traits giant head <laughs> so she has my head poor girl she's gonna be short poor girl <laughs> there's nothing really i can do about that um but yeah she did she was a rock star she was just like really calm and they were checking her ears um like to look in there and her mouth and her nose and her eyes and all that stuff and she just laid on me and when they had to check her ears we were like turn your head she'd turn turn it the other way and she would turn like she followed all the instructions whereas like before all of those previous doctor's appointments i had to like push her head to the side and like press her head up against me because she was just like fighting it the whole time but we were prepping her this morning. We were telling her like, hey, we're going to the doctors. Things are gonna be fun. She's super excited for her birthday on Sunday. Her Nona and Pop are coming in to town. So she like, every time we're like, who's coming? She's like, Papa, Nona, 
Well, she says like, no, no. <laughs> but um, yeah, she's like super excited about seeing her Nona and Pop. And yeah, we're having a big party for her at the park. I only bought like 20 sets of 20 for like um, utensils and plates and stuff, which is all behind me. This, this is that huge pile behind me. There's um, presents and <laughs> all sorts of balloon helium and stuff. Anyway, so I bought sets of 20 in terms of like cutlery and paper plates and cups. And right now I have about 33 people coming. So kind of underestimated how, how many people were coming. Uh, we'll go get some more this weekend when Nona and Pop come in town. We'll do a little bit of that last minute shopping. Yeah, we're just gonna have like cupcakes for her. I think they're, they're half vanilla or like plain white cake and half chocolate cake and then they have whipped icing on them and black sprinkles. Um, what else? I have red and white cupcake holders, so that's gonna look really cute because it's a Minnie Mouse theme. <sighs> what else? Oh, I'm doing fruit, like um, a big bowl of watermelon and um, strawberries and blueberries, and I'm gonna turn them into, I'm using like cookie cutters to turn them into little Mickey heads or little bows. I have both. Um, yeah. So I think that's all. <laughs> I might take pictures um, at her party, but I'm not sure how it's gonna work because there's gonna be a lot of people there that, you know, I don't wanna have to like ask everyone, hey, can I post this on YouTube? <laughs> so um, I'll probably just take some pictures of her and I'll insert them in my next update. Okay, well, that is my big 18 week pregnancy update and my two year old Cecilia update. I cannot believe she's two. That's crazy. <laughs> she's two. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, okay, so I will see you next week and I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Bye!